tonight with head coach Oscar Pereja. Coach, tough loss tonight, but you guys you were able to grab the four spot and host the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. Uh, what are your thoughts on tonight and moving forward? Uh, yeah, we want first uh, to express our gratitude with our fans and the people who support the club this much. Uh, the energy that they bring in the games, and that's very contagious for the players. And I, I know uh, from the bottom of, of our heart, from the players, uh, that that's, that's the highlight of uh, this uh, part of the season, especially the last semester when we bounced back after a, a very tough start of the season. So thanks to them. Uh, regarding the game, I thought we played well and we have some moments of distractions. Not that we get outplayed by Tal Atlanta, but uh, we got distractions in a couple plays that, uh, especially in the starting of the halves, and oh, we, need, we need to correct that. It, it cannot happen in the playoffs. Uh, after that, or in between those, uh, moments, uh, I thought the boys played well, what we wanted. Uh, we have had more uh, sharpness on our finishing that tonight, but I thought the heart of the team was there all the time, and I congratulate this group of players. And once again, they brought us here. Uh, they finalized fourth in the conference, and that's not an easy task. And we'd rather better just take uh, that positive side of this one uh, they, uh, we are very proud of the players and the club. Awesome. Also, you kind of mentioned the distractions at the beginning of the first two halves. What, what do you feel kind of led to just the, you know, lapses, uh, you know, for two goals in the first 15 mm -hmm. minutes and then the uh, penalty given away in the beginning of the second half? Mm, I, it's difficult uh, to be so precise on that answer. Uh, I just saw the goals too in review. I thought uh, we, uh, uh, we we didn't we didn't we didn't clear the ball in, in, the, in the set place. And, and, and by the way, I see a handball too there. Uh, and then the first one, uh, I thought it was a, a collective distraction. And 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 I have to admit that Atlanta. Uh, did a good job on trying to move the ball in and find that space that they found there. But uh, w we have to be better than that on on those in, in that moment. And also in the PK that we concede. So uh, I don't want I don't want just to sweep the things under the the uh, table. I, we're going to address it. But but I, I don't want to eclipse that I, I either to all the good things that the boys did during the game. But, but really, uh, I thought we have something today that uh, is not allowed in the playoffs. Michael. Uh, Oscar, thanks for your time. Um, obviously, a big talking point in the game came late when Duncan scored the goal, and then it was reviewed and, and waved off. What did, you, what did you see on that, and, and what were you told by the officiating crew? Uh, the officials said, uh, and they reviewed, and they uh, saw humble there. Uh, by the ruling said uh, uh, that they are correct if it was a handball. Uh, I thought it was a very special moment for us and our fans and uh, the frustration today and and, uh, and not allow that goal is big, but uh, but that's what, what happened. So I, I, I just go beyond that. There's other things. And, uh, and the goal in the corner, I saw a handball too there. What happened is that it, it, it was difficult to see it, but it was. I reviewed it already. And, um, and that's it. But it, it's a beautiful game. It, it just doesn't stop. <laughs> we have to move on. Chris? Yeah, Oscar, um, going, so, going so strongly into the playoffs this year, how do you feel, uh, how's your confidence this year compared to when you went in last year? Uh, Chris, I saw a team that uh, that overcome this year 
with a lot of hard and a lot of compromise after a difficult start. Uh, it was a it was a part of the season and the first semester that despite we were playing good games that we didn't have results and we were um, I thought it was in the 12 13th place uh, thinking in the summer uh, starting in the summer that we will qualify for the playoffs was a, a hard objective to accomplish but we uh, qualified fourth and and that's a big achievement, and and uh, I'm gonna take this game as a as a way for us to be in our toes, like always, and 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 this is welcome to the playoffs. This is, you cannot you cannot sleep. You sleep, and then you have to get the ball out of the net. And but uh, qualifying the fourth allow us in comparison with um, the other times. Uh, we have the advantage uh, at home in the first series. Uh, we had more advantages last year, but um, this is just about momentum. I see this group strong, Chris. I see this group strong, um, and and that's a credit for them because they have again they have overcome, and uh, I, I deeply. Uh, admire them. Michael. Oscar, you're, uh, you're trailing 2-1. You come out of the locker room within 20 seconds, give up a penalty. And Pedro makes the save on that. Mm -hmm. and, and after, you know, coming back from South America, uh, a season when he's been a little bit inconsistent uh, for his, his level, uh, what does it mean for your team to, to see him make that save in the, the final game of the regular season, knowing that you're going to need those types of saves in the playoffs? Right, it is a great uh, uh, detail on the game, Michael, because uh, uh, what you described about Pedro during the year is uh, is real. Uh, Pedro has uh, had that responsibility to bring himself back to his level, and 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 uh, when he saved that PK today, I thought about that. I say, well, good moment is is what we need now. Those saves that he used to do, uh, that keep us alive in the games that are hard. And um, I'm glad for him. Uh, so I, I'm just trying to rescue all those good things that happened today. It's, it's good. Uh, it's a good feeling in playoffs in Major League Soccer. You sleep and then you're out. And in a day like today, I've despite we play well or despite all what we can do if uh, w w we commit those mistakes we're out what happened is that uh, the credit to the players that they uh, buy <laughs> that one and, and they can take this experience for the next one but uh, playoffs we cannot give this kind of mistakes because it would be not tomorrow so I hope that we all learn from this yeah, and finish with Austin just kind of going off of that, Oscar, how much did this feel like a playoff game with the, the fans, the atmosphere, and mm -hmm. kind of everything in between? And how much, kind of like you touched on, just, just does this prepare your team for uh, what's to come next week or the week after? Right. It's, it's uh, great to see the stadium today and, and uh, um, in our fans, the people who came and joined us. Uh, it's uh, uh, fantastic. I know... I know they're proud of their team, and we would be ready to uh, see the stadium and, and have the advantage in the next or in the first series is something that we deserve it, and they deserve it. We will try to make it happen. But um, it is uh, uh, great to see the energy today. It was good. Great. Great to see.